Welcome. Today we're going to it says express P and Q in the form XI plus YJ. Express it in the form XI plus YJ. Now let's do that. Okay, now we have vector P, all right? Vector P in that form is gonna be, we can rewrite it as minus 3i plus 4j. Let us want it in the ij form. That's going to be vector p. Just to show it's a vector, generally you put like a mark below the letter, just to reference it. Just to show it's not just a scalar, you put a letter. So this means it's a vector p. And vector q is going to be minus i plus 6j. Now let's hear what they say now. They say that obtain vector p minus q. Let's do part two here, p minus q. Vector p minus vector q is going to be equal to, now minus three, minus minus one, put that in a calculator, minus three, minus minus one, is minus two. You don't have to put it in the calculator but because I don't like to make mistakes, I put it in mine. So minus two i. Then four minus six. Four minus six is minus two j. So that's vector p minus vector q, All right? Again, you don't have to put it in you don't have to do it like that, all right? Nice, now we need vector, we need the dot product of P dot Q. So let's work out the dot product here, vector P dot Q. Now the dot product of P dot Q, this is where I'm no longer gonna keep it in the I, in, in ij form, I'm gonna write it in column vector form. In column vector form, we have minus three, four dot, minus three, four dot, minus one, six. This is gonna work out to be minus three times minus one, minus three times minus one is three, plus four times six, which is 24. 24 plus three is 27, all right? So that's P dot Q, 27, nice and easy. Now the next thing it need is, it says let the angle between P and Q be theta. Use the result of three above to calculate theta in degrees. So part four. All right, so let P and Q, the theta use the result of three above to calculate the value of theta. Now to find theta, there's a simple formula we're gonna use, but before we even do that, I just want to, to, to put that diagrammatic sketch of what is happening. I love to put a diagrammatic sketch, all right? I just love doing it. I like to go from the origin. The origin is zero, zero. Now vector P is this. Vector P is minus three, four. Negative three is here, so. Positive four is somewhere up here, so. I just like, we'll see when, when, when what's going on. This is vector P. This is vector P. All right, that's vector OP. This is P. Then, Vector Q is minus one, six, minus one, six. So let six be here. So this is vector Q, minus one would be somewhere right here. So this is vector Q. All right, vector Q goes something like this. And they want the angle between the two vectors. The angle between the two vectors is this angle. So clearly we can see this angle is acute. 
All right, this angle is going to be acute. The angle that we're going to get is acute. Since we already find P dot Q, we're good to go. Because how do we find angle? We know that the cost of any angle, in this case, it's going to be the cost of angle. I'm going to call it POQ. The cost of the angle POQ is going to be equal to P dot Q over the norm of P times the norm of Q. Over the norm of P times the norm of Q. So we need to work out what is the norm of P. The norm of P is the magnitude of P. So let's work that out right here. Let's do it in red. The norm of P is equal to three square plus four square square rooted. So the norm of P, that looks like five. Then we need the norm of Q. The norm of Q is gonna work out to be the square root of one square plus six square. Six square is 36 plus one that's 37. That's the square root of 37. All right, so now we can go ahead and find this. So now the cosine of angle POQ the cosine of angle POQ is equal to P dot Q, P dot Q, which is, I think that was 27, 27 over the norm of P, which is five times the square root of 37. But remember we need the angle. So we're gonna need to find cosine inverse now. And so the angle POQ It's going to be equal to cosine inverse. Angle POQ is cosine inverse of 27 over 5 times the square root of 37. So you put all of this in a calculator, and it depends. Did they ask for degrees or radians? I'm hoping it's degrees. Let's hope it's degrees. Yes, they said in degrees. Let the angle be theta. Okay, they said let the angle be theta. So they didn't need to call it angle POQ. Call it theta. So we shouldn't have been calling it POQ. We should have been calling it theta. We should have been calling it theta. Should have been calling it theta. Call that angle theta. So working this out, I'm going to get 27 divided by 5 times the square root of 37. Cosine inverse the answer, I get 27.4 degrees. So theta is equal to 27.4 degrees. Nice and easy, soft. And look how easy we take care of module 2. This is module two. Kate Math is say it's nice and easy. Say it with me. Kate Math says so nice and easy. Soft. Section question 